Hello guys, this is FlashX007 and today I'll be unboxing the high grade 1 to 144 scale Zedra XVM ZGC. Now before I begin, I'd like to show you guys like a brief uh, look of the box and let me see if I can get this real quick. Um, this retails for, hold on if I can get it, 1300 yen as you guys see right here and basically this is the side view of the box. Uh, the, the fan the fan art right here, uh, him versing uh, age two. Basically, this is Zehart's uh, uh, major first official mobile suit. Before that, he had the Zetas, but that really had difficulty following his X rounder abilities. So this is uh, tuned to fit with him and like move with his thoughts better. So better response uh, time for this. And basically, uh, as always, fun to build Gunpla. And here's the front view of it, the rear view, uh, a pose with it that you can do. Uh, here's the hands, and next up the chest, which is what it's showing there. Actually, it's showing that you can attach the uh, tail rifle onto its hand, and the rifle itself. And that's basically it for the overall box. Here's the fan art again. And let's pop this baby open. Okay, so you probably heard a lot of people saying it, but um, when anybody does, uh, well actually, anybody that I've seen uh, that uh, gets this or builds it, they really reference it with Skittles, and that's really what it is, basically. The color, the color scheme is very colorful. Um, so basically, this is the first package, and here we have like or light orange, um, light orange, and then we have yellow. And then some red, clear green, and the stickers, of course. Um, it only comes with one sheet, I believe. Basically, that's it for that. And this is actually their A runner. Okay, next up, we have this. And basically, the black sprue, the black runners, is actually uh, for like the rifle, the inner frame, maybe, and some other stuff. And this is the D runner. Basically, that's what it looks like. And behind it is like mostly the armor plates, the red parts. Um, so pretty nice. And let's see if I can get a hold of it. This is what the rifle looks like. Very well detailed. And that's what it looks like. And one more, actually. Uh, this does not come with that many runners, to be honest. It's a high grade. But basically, another armor plate. And this is where we see like the uh, tail rifle and uh, the poly caps so pretty nice and let's look at the manual here we have the Zedra XVM ZGC and it's piloted by Zehart if you watch the anime the ARC 2 is actually pretty good it's better than ARC 1 and ARC 2 if you have watched it you'll know what I mean but here we get some basic uh, information on the armaments a little picture of uh, Vegan Pilots. This is actually Zehart's uh, brother, I believe. I may be incorrect, but basically that. And this is the Zetas R, which is uh, Zehart's custom Zetas. Uh, he Im upgraded from this to this, so they're showing a picture of that. And basically some characters from the anime, like uh, Asima, which is the main Gundam pilot, and the girl which falls in love with both of them and chooses SMO. Spoiler! But anyways, yeah. And also it shows other th uh, stuff that you can get like the H2, the H2 double bullet, the Genoese, and the Adele. Here it shows the mechanics, the weapon. Unfortunately this does not come with a beam, a beam saber, so that's kind of unfortunate. And the Kronos, which is unfortunately an advanced grade, this does not have a high grade model which kinda sucks. But that's basically that, along with a color guide. Yeah, so basically a pretty simple packet. Um, it wouldn't take that much, that long. If you consider the sanding and the denubbing, this actually for me could probably take a day and a half. So I look forward to building this, or something along the line. Uh, I'm really not sure if I'm gonna do a let's build or not. I'm just doing the unboxings and getting those out of the way and then I'll start doing what uh, if I decide anything. But anyways, that's the packet. And I would like to conclude with basically the uh, the runners. Give you guys a better detailed looks. 
these are the stickers actually that go for it um, pretty simple and small sticker sheet so nothing major there and here we have like detailed uh, rather than the reflection off from the plastic you can see like better detail the parts pretty nice and this is like the most colorful runner uh, sh the runner sprue that I've ever seen here's the hands and again it really sucks that they do not have a beam saver for this I'll probably grab something from my other high grades maybe maybe it might work so basically that's that and here we have another major red armor plates uh, this is the B runner and just showing you guys like detail that's put into it so pretty nice what I really want to show you guys is the black uh, runner sprue this is basically, uh, basically going to probably go underneath or around the details or show the inner frame and the uh, rifle is actually pretty well detailed I don't know if you guys can see that so pretty nice uh, definitely will like to build this um, this really reminds me of the Legulus rifle and basically um, that rifle is basically Vagan technology combined with uh, the H3's uh, um, uh, I forget Sig Maxis rifle and in my hand is the polycaps not that important well important for articulation <laughs> but uh, I want to show you guys this basically the shoulders and again a lot of stuff resembles this and that and it's understandable because um, Eh, I don't know, like, uh, to be honest, I'm not really f fond of the age line. The models are incredible and really, really good for beginners or just basically people who are looking to get their money's worth. But um, in terms of, like, the entire design and the entire, like, plot and theme, I think age could have been better, uh, like, better targeted or appropriate. But, um, for its basic, uh, like, it ended, and basically, um, I think they couldn't have done worse with it. Uh, it's good that they ended it. Uh, I look forward to Origins now, but to be honest, um, that it has its ups and downs. But, uh, definitely pretty nice vegan uh, mobile suit, and I look forward to building it. So, I'm gonna stop rambling on and, uh, just end it at, uh, end it there. I'd like to thank uh, I shop to go and GK Gundam Kit for providing this, and feel free to check them out in the description. And thanks for watching, and also subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, I'm going to conclude it there, and look forward to my other unboxings as well.